Thank you, uh, Dr. Schnall. As you heard, uh, it's really important the uh, the role that uh, the the Israeli Graduate School as uh, the, uh, the the entity in which the institute is embedded, and we thank uh, Dr. Schnall for his support in that way. I also want to uh, just take a moment uh, to recognize uh, President Richard Joel for his vision, his support, his guidance. Um, <clears throat> throughout the process of the development of this, uh, this institute. And of course, uh, star of the show today, Harry Bloom, uh, the Institute's Director for Planning and Performance Improvement, who I'll introduce in a few minutes uh, for his passion, his wisdom on this important topic of board governance practices, the topic of today's program. When President Joel approached me a few years ago uh, to develop an office at YU that would support day school education throughout North America, the university was running a few video conference programs for about 18 schools and hosting a small annual conference for modern Orthodox educators. Now, two years later, with the infusion of significant additional resources, the Institute for University School Partnership has been developed. We've spent much time investigating the needs of the day school industry together with our colleagues at the Israeli Graduate School, educators and lay leaders in the field, and other experts in communities. Three priorities emerged, each with a need for long-term focus. First, improving the quality of the educational experience for students. Second, ensuring the quality and a sufficient number of Jewish educators. And advancing the efficiency and quality of governance and administration in our day schools. Underlying all three of these needs are, the, um, are, the, are to utilize research to fully understand the specific nature of these challenges to develop solutions, and to study their effectiveness. Through partnering with schools and other organizations, like the Partnership for Excellence in Jewish Education, it's nice to see uh, our colleague Cheryl Finkel here representing PEGE, the various school networks, of course it's nice to see our colleague Jane West Walsh here representing the Pardes Network, and local federation and central agencies, and again, just to acknowledge one local federation, Bob Sherman from the BJE of New York. So wonderful to have partners like that, they help us better translate research into action and to tackle the variety of challenges our schools and communities face and to begin to move ahead of these challenges as well. Where appropriate, we have enlisted others in the research and development of solutions and at times shared what we have learned with them to ensure that there is maximum impact on practice. Many of these organizations and schools are represented here today, as I've mentioned, we're dedicated to and grateful for this partnership. No one can possibly do this alone. At the same time, we recognize that the charter that we've set for ourselves is unique and holistic in the world of Jewish day school education. Indeed, our synthesis of educational and operational sides of schools and research-driven approach gives us a unique national perspective to tackle Jewish educational challenges as most require looking at the whole school as one entity and will only be solved through rigorous analysis of data. Our work is both school and communally focused and cross-denominational, involving schools that span the ideological spectrum of Jewish practice. Allow me a few minutes to delve a bit deeper into how we are tackling the most challenging issues of Jewish education today. To me, the challenge of quality of the student experience in our schools, the quality of instruction, leadership, curriculum, and student support the Institute provides continuing education for individual teachers and administrators and intensive professional development for entire schools to deepen, broaden, and intensify the system to improve student outcomes. This includes not only a focus on the academic achievement of students, but the social, emotional, behavioral, and religious experiences and outcomes as well. However, it's not enough to support the current teachers and leaders in the field. As schools struggle to find enough quali qualified teachers for each classroom and enough qualified administrators to lead and support them. Through strategic and targeted recruitment and placement initiatives, we work to meet this challenge. Induction of these new teachers and administrators, including mentoring for them and support for their schools, ensures that we are actively developing and supporting talent in the field. Today, it almost goes without saying that communities throughout North America face the challenge of providing their children broad access to an affordable Jewish education. With our deep competency in education as derived from our association with the Israeli Graduate School and Yeshiva University at large, 
we uniquely consider both the educational quality of schools and their operational performance. Indeed, we believe that the interplay of the educational product of schools with board governance practices, leadership, and financial sustainability is the key to future success of day schools. We all know that in order to tackle any of these current challenges in schools, we need answers to fun some fundamental questions. Usable knowledge about how children best learn, how people best lead, and how best to structure the educational infrastructure in our communities. What's the best way to introduce Chumash, Bible, and at what age? How can we help hyperactive children pay attention? What is the proper relationship between instruction and assessment? Can we really teach religiosity? Teachers grapple with these questions and others like them daily. Does block scheduling lead to better learning? How should teachers be supervised? What are the strengths and weaknesses of the head of school as CEO model? Leaders of schools grapple with these questions and others like them regularly. How do we reconcile quality with affordable schools? What is the optimal administrator to teachers to student ratio? Would it be more efficient to share a campus with another school? School boards grapple with these questions and others like them regularly. And we all know that research can point out clear directions for their decision making. However, in education, we have a lab to classroom gap. Vital knowledge too often remains with the researchers unavailable to those in positions to help our children and youth. One of our priorities at YU and particularly at the Institute for University School Partnership is to reduce this gap by conducting and disseminating practical research that easily translates to classrooms, administrative offices, and boardrooms. While we still have a way to go, we're proud of our accomplishments to date that are yielding some very exciting new advancements in schools and at the same time, cutting edge research like board governance survey we're, going to re we're, we're releasing today. We continue to invest in practical educational research so that we will know how to invest in reforming our educational system. Without this investment to connect research to classroom and school practice, the Jewish educational community writ large will continue to blindly throw money at our problems. None of us can afford such blind spending in this economy. Indeed, how can we afford not to spend to learn where, where and how to invest in our educational future? This focus on investment in our future connects directly to the work of boards of directors of schools and why we're so excited by the topic of today's conference. A leader of a major national Jewish educational organization said last week in reaction to the study that the mere fact that a study on governance was done is big, that it begins to move us from merely a practicing field to a data-driven field. Indeed, today is an important day as we're able to take yet another step forward, not only because the study was done but because the results are informative to advance our lay leadership, our schools, and our communities. No doubt, as we identify approaches to advance the efficiency and equality of governance and administration of day schools based on our research, our other areas of focus, improving the quality of the day school experience, ensuring the quality and a sufficient numbers, a number of Jewish educators, those will also advance. I look forward to sharing such advances with you as they emerge. At this time, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce Harry Bloom. Harry has an MBA in marketing and finance from Columbia University and worked in the for-profit sector for Procter & Gamble, GE, Bose, and McKinsey. Eight years ago, he retired from that arena to bring his experience and wisdom to work with not-for-profits. About six years ago, Harry became a doctoral student at Azrieli, as Dean Schnall mentioned, to learn the ins and outs of day school education. He has been a consultant for PEGE, a teacher and a director of institutional advancement for a day school, and consulted with over 30 schools around North America before coming, becoming the Institute's Director of Planning and Performance Improvement. Please welcome Harry Bloom.